Okay, we get lots and lots of phone calls from certain customers who don't necessarily know how to use their oxygen concentrator. My favorite is always it's beeping and yet it is unplugged, which is why it's not working. So uh, Jake's going to go over kind of some of the most common questions that we have on concentrators and why they don't work. A lot of times patients decide that they are not getting enough oxygen, so they will either they will adjust their oxygen, either um, lower the dosage or up the dosage. And what that happens is it's going to start alarming, it's going to start chirping, it's going to be about once every three seconds. And this is just saying that it's not getting enough oxygen, it's not pumping oxygen. And so how to solve this, I'll uh, wait for it to start chirping so then I can show you what it sounds like. What do you have it, what do you have it uh, set at right now, Jake? It's at zero. It's at zero? Okay. It'll do it at zero or, or above five. So it's either going to, um, either way it's going to not, <laughs> Uh, work and it takes about two minutes for it to start cycling through the chirping. If they haven't adjusted their liters per minute, it's going to be because of the fact that they have their oxygen kink. And those are the only two reasons that it's going to be chirping. Uh, a lot of times patients will have the concentrator too close to their wall and this will not allow oxygen to come in and work through the system. Um, that will also cause an alarm. Um, it, a lot of times it's because of the fact that patients are misusing their concentrators that it's allowing them allowing it to alarm. This is the uh, chirping. Just by asking them if they've adjusted their liters per minute, it has the yellow light constant and the red light beeping. And so and just that's to fix when it's on. No, it's on currently. Um, what it's going to sound like when it's off, it's going to fix itself in about 30 seconds or so. It's just going to go cycle through this and then it'll start pumping 2 liters per minute again once it's been adjusted to it. So we don't need to go out and fix it, they just need to adjust it back to their prescribed liter per minute. Um, so um, when, both of, when it's off, both of them will come on? Yeah, this is what it's going to sound like when it's off. Yeah, but I mean when you have ha turned the... The uh, mm -hmm. down. Yeah, it was a chirp. Both lights came on. Yes, both lights came on. Yellow was constantly on, red was flashing. Okay. And that was just, it was just chirping. Um, a lot of times the filter back here will get just encased in dirt and grime, and uh, it'll alarm because it just needs a new filter. A lot of times you just need to clean it and replace the filter, and it'll, it'll continue working. Hey, Jake, can you show me how to change the filter on that, please? Yes. Shut the machine off. Open up the back right here, and then pull this out right here. And you toss this filter. Um, it's going to be covered in dirt, so just throw it away and put in a new one. Put the date on it, and then there's a hole right in there. Slide it in, put the back on, and turn it back on. Now, Jake, there was a date on the filter. What was that date s signifying? That I replace the filter every six months. Um, I replaced it March 8, 2011, and uh, I also wrote down the hours, which are going to be right here. It is at 10,303 hours, and you typically concentrators start wearing down about 12,000 to 18,000 miles or hours. And uh, once in a while, um, if the patient is a smoker. This entire concentrator will be covered up in grime, and in that case, it needs to be replaced, needs to be fixed. And uh, we don't fix them here. We have to send them back up out to Grasper All the All the concentrators have a five-year warranty, so that's what Chris does. He will send them back if uh, they start alarming before five years. Uh, second is the filters on those concentrators are actually designed to only be changed once every two years but we just change them every six months for preventative maintenance. Um, if someone has a nice clean house, they don't smoke like they're not supposed to, they should last two years. But as we know, conditions are not always optimal for every single patient. If it's just some basic maintenance, if the patient just takes a damp cloth and just wipes the back of this once, once a week, 
it'll keep the filter nice, it'll keep the concentrator working very efficiently. And it's just a lot of patients don't take care of the concentrator, so then it breaks down on them. And that's about everything. Super. Uh, Thanks, Jake. Back, is, would it harm to vacuum that filter in the back? Only if it would harm it if it is on, otherwise, it is not a problem. 